Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of FTB Departed. And in today's episode, we're going to work on getting a proper base setup. That's what my big goal is for right now. Now, I'd really like to put my house, which we're going to be building, right here. I think this is actually a really good spot for it. The problem is, there is some stuff in the way, so we're going to have to do a little bit of excavation and tear down and demolition. So let me get some of that done, guys. And once I've got a space, I will be right back. The area all nice and cleared out. And I've also got kind of the foundation of the house laid down as well. So we're gonna have kind of a kind of an X or cross-shaped house, but uh, some of the uh, the wings, I guess you would call it, the wings of the house are going to be a little bit larger than others, and that's fine. That's totally okay, and uh, in fact, that's kind of what I was going for with this. It's going to be a, kind of a little bit different shape than what we might be used to. So let's put some of this stuff away, and the first thing that I want to do is I want to get the floor put in. So let's go ahead and do that right away, and that won't take long. We're just going to fill the whole thing in with some chiseled birch planks. They're the, uh, the smooth birch wood planks is what they're called. So let me get that done, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back. And next up, we're going to do the walls. Now, I should probably quick go over the dimensions of the house, just in case any of you are interested in building this with me. So basically, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge are all nine, or seven blocks in between the end blocks. This, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same here. So pretty much every edge of this house is seven blocks except for these little corners. Here it comes over and then goes one, two, three. Here it also comes over and goes one, two, three. Although I'm looking at this and I'm... Hmm. I might change that up a little bit. Could I extend this just a hair? I think I could. I'm going to extend it just a little bit because you want to... When you're building a house... You want to think about where the windows and stuff are going to go when you lay the foundation down. So let me get a couple things just kind of tweaked. I'm going to bring this one out. I'll bring them both out one extra block. And actually, we do need more birchwood planks then, don't we? Here we go. I thought I said... There we go. So we're going to bring this out one extra block. So this is a grand total of five, and this one will also be a grand total of five. Now the roads, I know some of you have said that uh, we want to fix up the roads. Don't worry, guys, that is going to be, that's going to happen. I'm not going to go without these, that's, that's not the right birchwood planks. Those are the wrong birchwood planks, aren't they? Yep, yep, they definitely are. They are the wrong color. Uh, that's all right. Easy fix. So we'll just take those out. Let's re-chisel these into the ones that we actually want, which are right here, smooth birchwood planks. I think they make a really nice floor texture, honestly. I think it's a perfect texture for the floor in a house. So there we go. We got that done. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, 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 seven. Seven, seven. I wish I could jump into creative mode to show you how this would look, but uh, that's all right. So anyway, next up, we're going to do the walls, and I'm going to go ahead and take these walls up. Uh, we're going to make them out of oak. I'm going to go ahead and take them up five high right away. So one, two, three, four, five. That's how high they'll be. And then let me go ahead and get the walls all put in, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got the walls all built up five high. Now, you may notice that I left a spot in the corner, and that's because we're going to put some stuff there, specifically these great wood logs, which I think look super awesome. We're going to use them here as a building material. They're from Thomcraft. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. So let's just go ahead and build those up. Uh, I'm only doing this in the outer corners. Because it wouldn't, I don't think it would look as good on the inside. So we're just going to do it on the outside corners like this. And that will just help the 
help the house to look a little bit better than it would otherwise. A little bit of detail. Those of you who watch my other building related content uh, for Minecraft know that it's all about the small details and all sorts of other things as well. So that looks pretty good so far. I'm, I'm good with that. Now the next step is... I don't suppose I can reach that chest from here, can I? Nope. That's alright. The next step is going to be the roof. And the roof is going to be a little bit trickier. What we're going to do is we're going to use these carpenter's stairs that I've got a whole bunch of. And we're basically going to outline uh, pretty much all of this. Not the whole thing. Oh. We're just going to kind of come across like this. But the parts that stick out. Why, why you no connect? No. Um. Uh. What, what, there we go. Carpenter's blocks. They're so finicky sometimes, I'll tell you. There we go. So these little kind of inner sections, we're going to put the carpenter's stairs. Um, the outer sections, or uh, as in these parts that are kind of, you know, sticking out from the house, those we are not going to put any carpenter's stairs. So we can put these all in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the best feature of the carpenter stairs, that of applying any texture. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make use of the aligned stone brick texture that I used for the foundation. I think that'll look really nice. So let me get a good chunk of this roof done, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. And as you can see, we got the roof all nice and laid out here the way we want, which is great. Now, the next thing is to actually fill in the roof. Oh, and you know what I did forget to do is I forgot to go ahead and apply this stone brick texture to the outsides. That's all right. We'll get that done, too. Now, what I'm going to use for the roof, I'm going to use these great wood stairs. Um, I really, really like the texture of the great wood. It's just really nice and dark, and I think it's a absolutely gorgeous, beautiful wood. So this is what we're going to go with. And uh, I think it'll turn out really nice. So let me get the roof all done here and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back and we got this roof all nice and filled in. Look at this. This is a beautiful thing. So now what we want to do is I want to kind of top this off with just a little, a little bit of stone brick just right up at the very top. So that's what we're going to do, but we're just going to do a half slab. So it'll be something like this, and that way it kind of brings everything together, uh, and it also helps kind of, once again, outline the shape of that roof, which is what we wanted. So let's get this all done. We're just using carpenter's blocks, and you just hammer them, or you right-click it once with the uh, carpenter's hammer here, which is actually pretty easy to make. And then, from there, they'll place as half slabs. There we go. So that looks good. Now, I don't think I'm going to have enough stone bricks. Let's see. Nope. That's all right, though. We can just chisel some more. So we'll go align cobblestone bricks. There we go. And then we'll need to... Probably scaffold our way back up to the roof. There we go. So let's get those bricks put on just like this. Looking good. This is starting to look actually like a pretty cool house. I kind of like it. I think the uh, I think the colors are actually pretty nice too in this. There we go. So that looks pretty good. Now, windows are definitely going to be needed, because right now, there aren't any. And that's keeping it from looking, you know, all that great. Um, I also decided to take great wood logs and put them down here. I might, I'm thinking of taking carpenter's blocks and pounding these back one, just so there's a little bit of depth there, but I haven't decided on that for sure. Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. Let's see how it looks from this side. 
Yeah, I like it. I like this house quite a lot. We're going to put a door in right here. And uh, this scaffolding that we use to get up to the roof, we don't really need this right now anymore. Although I do want to have a second floor in here and also windows. Windows are really important. So let's uh, let's take this stuff out so we can kind of knock out where our windows are going to go. And I think we're going to have two high windows. That should work. Yeah, yeah, two high windows will be good. And we'll just put a couple of them kind of on every side next to the doors like this. Then we can put one here. Here we could probably have a larger window. Like a big picture window like that. That'll help us kind of see out as well and make sure there's nothing super nasty out there that wants to kill us before we go outside. Do something like that. And then, let's see, here we can probably do the same thing. And I think we'll put a door. Do I want a door here? Yeah, I think I do want, I do still want a door here. Actually, no. No, here I don't think I do want a door. Um, I think I'm just going to go two windows right here. Just kind of side by side. Because then, uh, when you have a door, it kind of restricts what you can do with the space. And I do want to make sure that I have quite a lot of space in this house. Now, I'm going to go for more windows rather than less, just because I, I generally think that windows add to the house and make it look better. But... There we go, and then finally one more window right here. Okay. So that's good. Oh, and there. All right, so we've kind of got our house all laid out now. Now we will need to do something, uh, some sort of steps or something like that to actually get up into the house. But that's starting to look good. Now before we can continue, I'm definitely going to need some glass, because I don't really have any at this point. So let me go ahead and uh, get some materials together and get ready for the next stage of the house, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got some sand smelting up in my little temporary house. Uh, I did get enough... Oh, what are you? An ancient golem. Get out of here. Okay. Man. Anyway, I did get some, stand, some sand smelting up in my little starter house. Let's just put a couple torches in here. Uh, and it will smelt up as we continue to work on the house. Now, uh, the inside doesn't look all that great right now, so we're going to want to add a second story, and we're definitely going to want to do something with the windows, although I haven't really decided exactly how I want to do these yet. Uh, I do have a couple of ideas. So, let's go and grab our chisel. I hear another ancient golem, but whatever, no matter. Uh, let's see. So we've got streak glass panes. We've got... Actually, you know, I think I know what I want to do for the uh, windows, but I don't... Oh, it's going to need a lot more glass. Let's see. How, how much do we have? So let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20... Uh, 26, yeah, this should be doable. Hmm. Maybe what we'll do... No, I don't like that either. I don't know, what do I want to do for the windows? I was, I was really thinking glass panes, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm not thinking glass panes. I'm thinking glass blocks. But with carpenter's blocks, of course, applied. Let's just see, is there any different textures here? Yeah, I was thinking one of these kind of ironish looking fences. I really like the way those look, but hmm, that should be okay. We can do that. We can do that. It'll be fine. All right, so let me go ahead and get some stuff together over here. Now, this 
is basically a sheer drop off right now, so we don't want to do anything with that. In fact, I think I'm actually going to fill that in and put another double window here. Just because I think that'll look a little bit better. There we go. And then what I want to do is I want to start working on the second floor. Now, the second floor, I'm going to use the birch as well. And we're going to put it up here at this level. And that way it's going to do a few different things. It's going to cover up this uh, kind of nasty transition from the oak to the great wood. See how much better that looks already? Where you can't see these, these goofy looking lines. But we'll get that all put in. And it will also give us some extra storage space, which is always a good thing. Ow! What in the world? Where am I getting... I see you, goblin. Coming out of nowhere trying to mess me up. Silly guy. Anyway, let me get this uh, ceiling put in, and I'll be back in a moment. Alright guys, I am back, and we got the floor all put in. I'm just going to go with a ladder for now. I don't think I want to uh, go with a staircase or anything like that. Um, I am going to go ahead and put some more great wood right up in here just to kind of cover up that stone brick because otherwise that's going to look really ugly if we just have the random strip of stone brick sticking out. So ooh, that was yeah, whatever. You can just do that. There we go. So that looks pretty good. We got a little attic space up here, a little bit of Something we can kind of work with. And then we can also just punch out like a window. Just like this. We'll also have to figure out what we want to do in here for lighting. Because I, I'm really not a fan of just having random, uh, you know, kind of torches. Torch spam. Not a fan of torch spam. Never have been, never will be. But in the meantime, I think we're doing okay. And we've got a lot of progress done. Let's go check on our sand and see how much of that has been turned into glass blocks. Should be pretty much all of it by now. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. I should also mention, uh, in addition to what you see in the upper right-hand corner, there's also skills, which you can toggle on and off. Um, the default key binding is C, but that's a conflict, so I just rebound it to a different key, and now it works. And each of those levels is associated with certain things. So as I mine more, uh, those will get better. And when you hear that little kind of game show sound, I, what I think that is, is one of my skills leveling up. I'm not 100% certain, but that's, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put carpenter's blocks in the windows like this. There we go. And actually, where's my carpenter's hammer? I should probably just put those. I should probably pound them in right away as well. Here we go. Just right click them once and they'll go back in the direction that you clicked them on. So it'll look like that. And that looks pretty good. That's all right. And then we can do the same right there. Yeah, this is going to look really nice once it's done. I can just tell. So we'll do that. And then I suppose while we're before I uh, get too crazy, let's go ahead and test out and try a couple things. I'm leaning towards this modern iron fence, which looks very kind of medieval and magic -y and all that kind of stuff. I think this is actually the same texture I used in the uh, the Wellswood Lumber Shop from Stud Tech, I think. And I do like the way that it looks, so I think that's what we're going to go with. I think that looks really good, so... Alright, let me get these windows done and I'll be back in a moment. Alright guys, I am back. We got the windows all filled in. Look... Hey! Leave me alone. You two. Behave. Man. These mobs, they'll get you. Anyway, uh, windows looking good. 
Random tree out to get me. Ancient golem also out to get me. Everything here just wants to kill you. Why can we not be friends? Like, really? Man. Anyway, so now what we need to do, uh, pretty much to finish the house, at least as far as the, uh, you know, the basic exterior and stuff goes, pretty much all we really got to do is uh, put a door and a little porch type thing on it. And I'm looking at this, and I think for a house this size, I think that's a little much. So let's do that instead. There we go. I like that better. And then we'll do the same here. We are going to have to get our crafting table out of there. That looks good. And then we're just going to put this same birchwood texture for kind of the outside staircase. There is no staircase there. And, of course, I whacked that one once too many. There we go. I think that's all of it. Yeah, there we go. So we got a staircase here and a staircase over there. And last but not least, we do need some doors. So let's grab our crafting table, and we'll just put it here for now. And we're going to make two carpenter's doors, just like that. And some great wood planks. And we'll put one there. And one there. And then I'm going to use this texture. Because I like that texture quite a lot. I think we're going to close the windows on them, though. Let's see how that looks from the outside. Mm. What? Whoa, 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 Sasquatch. They're everywhere. Hmm. Don't know that I like that anymore. I don't like that either. That I like a little better. Hmm. I think we'll go with that one. I do need to do something up here because that's really bland and boring. But I'll worry about that later. I think at this point, we have done pretty much all that we have time for in this episode, guys. So... I'm going to get all my stuff moved in, and we'll worry about the rest of it later on. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me in... Ooh, wow, those frame rates. Random, huge, massive lag spike. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Whew. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. This was the Suburban House. This is probably the most popular of all the 15-minute builds. This one did really, really well. A small Suburban House with a garage that isn't actually a garage. It's actually a false wall just to make it look cool on the outside.